indemnity is the most standard part of an indemnity clause this is which you will find in hundreds of agreements uh, i mean 99 agreements out of 100 this is the uh, clause which you will find i'll read that clause how it appears it's never written as mutual indemnity it usually comes as indemnity and it says each party mind you it's not saying vendor or customer so it says either of the party can be the indemnifying party that is why it becomes a mutual clause just one word changes the meaning of the entire clause your buyer agrees to indemnify hold harmless defend the other party director officer employee affiliates everybody is included contractors partners shareholders invitees and agents as indemnified party against any in all liability suit judgment settlement obligation fine damage penalty claim cost charge expense including without limitation all reasonable legal fees and disbursements uh, which may be imposed upon or incurred by or asserted against any indemnified party by reason of or resulting from any one or more of the following occurrences during or after but attributable to to a period of time falling within the project period one any accident injury including that strike it out or damage to any employee of the indemnifying party occurring in on or about the premises of any indemnified party or any part thereof that is the premises two accident injury including death or damages to any person or property occurring in or on or about the premises as a result of the act or neglect of an employee or the indemnifying party or three any act or failure to act on the part of any employee or the indemnifying party while in on or about the premises during the performance of the agreement very simply it has very beautifully covered everything possible avoid death like even if you don't understand this clause right now it's okay just you can take me for my word you're dealing with a technology contract you don't need to deal with that huh? so it says in these three scenarios if so be the scene yeah there will be on either side of the uh, a case if uh, whoever becomes the other side will be uh, the party who's indemnifying the other side right so uh, protecting the other side and everybody is included if it is from the side of the vendor also the vendor its director officer employee affiliate all of these words can be picked up this is a very general standard clause but this is how this clause should be Yeah, what says it should be a mutual indemnity, and that's how should it should be in maximum of the contracts. Yeah, so each party promises to protect the other against the same type of claim. Example: data breach in indemnity. Each party promises to provide protection against claims related on data breaches that party caused or breaches it breaches its accused of causing. in an ip each promises to provide protection against infringement claims related to technology or content that party provided simple yeah it's in the case of data breach in the case of ip both the places there is indemnity and both sides have to provide indemnity that is a very smart way of providing indemnity under technology contracts this you can take it forever given yeah let's move ahead